Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet and of YouTube, and welcome back to Final Fantasy Chronicles of Eno. I'm your dungeon, ga excuse me, game master, as always, Skadramas, otherwise known as Tone Shift. And with us today, we have our full cast of players. We have Hades playing Thanatos, the Dark Knight. Shouldn't you basically be dungeon master, considering we're technically in a dungeon? Shut up. Secondly, we have Luminous Starlight playing Rocket the Chocobo, the mascot of the party and the centerpiece of this arc. Raven came to say hello. Your cat? Yeah, she does that. Next up, we have Darkness playing Alistair, our paladin. Greetings and salutations, everyone. Next up, we have Tom, who is playing Neothil, our Elvon Ranger. Zap. We also have an NPC party member in the form of Mika Solwyn, the Red Mage. As a uh, reminder to the audience that she exists. She's stealing my thunder. <laughs> oh, no, she's God, stealing so. your blizzard, man. I don't know blizzard. <laughs> oh, exactly. You're the one who knows thunder, so she can't steal it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Remember, statistically speaking, her function in the party is to plug the gaps you guys leave. Hmm. That's how I She brings the blizzard, you bring the thunder. Yep. Which has been rather useful in this place. Yeah, well, I mean, mm -hmm. there you go. Glad Electrical I devices <laughs> and lightning don't get along with each other. I right. had a thorn moment. Yes, you did. So, to recap for the audience, so they all know where we left off and what happened last time. In the last session, the party finally set out and arrived at the... Uh, after a prolonged airship flight that took them across most of the breadth of Linsalem's mass, you know, it's the vast majority of its territory, they arrived over the Suto Forest and managed to pinpoint the location of Devia Corp's hideout, the home of the nefarious underground criminal scientific organization responsible for the creation of numerous illegal and highly dangerous weapons as well as the creation of Rocket and the destruction of several of her brethren, quote-unquote, fellow members of the project she was made as a part of, and her father figure, her creator, Dr. Lazarus. Upon discovering its location, the party made a long and uh, slightly root-filled trek through the tangled mess that is the Suto Forest in a bid to get to Devia Corp's hideout and raise it to the ground. And from the ground, given it's an underground facility for the most part. As they were drawing closer to the facility, they were beset upon and wound up entering into battle with a group of creatures that have they have come to refer to as abominations. Strange, molten flesh-esque monstrosities that are a combination of biomechanical engineering and dark magic. Yeah, and dark magic born of the <laughs> You know, they're, they're liquid shifty flesh instead of liquid shifty metal, but I digress. They're disgusting. They are. It's still, it's but still they're works. dead. Anyways. Amika, Amika made quite a mess. Oh yeah, that's Shame she did. there's no molten metal nearby. <laughs> Anyways. So, following that encounter, the party at last arrived at Devia Corp's headquarters. And after a rather interesting manner of getting inside by knocking on the door, so to speak. It was Mika's idea. Oh, it was. Which means technically it was my idea, too. <laughs> but uh, after knocking which... on the door, quite literally, they just had Rocket kick the hangar door a few times. They managed to gain entrance into the facility and have steadily been working their way through the first floor. Trying not to set off the alarms. However, Until this guy happened. Uh, however... Where we last left off, there had been a slight hiccup, and physics wound up causing the alarm to very briefly be pulled. Although Thanatos was able to flip the alarm back up so that it turned off, it was still going Beams for a few seconds. Yeah. It you was should have gone for the arm. It was still going for a few seconds, which was enough to at least raise some eyebrows and cause a few people to come to investigate. In the following brief scuffle with a couple guards of DV Corp soldiers, one of the remaining troops, after an onslaught of deadly force from the party, managed to send a message deeper into the facility through one of his communication devices, the same sort you all used as the baseline for your tracking device. And now, people deeper in the facility are aware that there are intruders. 
although the specifics of said intruders are not as of yet known to them. Yeah, and now they have to die, so, uh... Did, 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 dar- for them. did darkness Mother. suggest that I'd cut that guy's arm off from last session? I think he did. <laughs> yeah. He has two. What happened to... What happened to me being... What happened to you saying, Oh, no, 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 don't, don't hurt... Don't hurt anybody unless you have to. He was a well, guard and the enemy, not a scientist. At this Therefore, point, I'm sick of going through the same yeah. speech to the scientists over and over, so any the rest on this floor, knock them out and shove them in the closet and sh- shut it, you know, lock it. I agree with the elf. Mm. <laughs> to the commons. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll be doing the same exact scene over and over and over, and that'll get boring fast for both of us and the viewer. Oh, yeah. It's obvious, because it's obvious that these scientists apparently don't talk to each other between floors. Or at least we haven't found the head scientist at this floor yet. Hmm. Well, that's what we need to do, because we need to take his key card. Well, first, we've got soldiers to deal with, which I'm pretty uh, sure. The, okay, so these ones here are supposed to be dead, right? Yeah, they're, they're dead. They're down. They're dead. I'm pretty sure the one over here this was. One as well because he was the one that did the communicator and then i shot i shot him yep, I yep. Shot he him. went down <laughs> so yeah they're all dead so if you so do i wrote called, i think there was at least one the shooting range i don't know if they're still there now oh no there's at least two or three in there i think there's only like two or three left in this entire floor so it's gonna be a piece of this okay uh, it's huge so, floors i'm worried about since they didn't have warning as our dm so <laughs> did very badly clearly clearly so, so can we, we have move? two. So we have two choices. We can either a go back to the scientist deal and knock on their doors, see if anybody opens, or b we can go to the court to the crew quarters and see if anybody there has a key. It would make sense to just keep in mind we do have two centuries to take out, which shouldn't be too hard yep. for the uh, human knee. Yeah, we crew quarters. My suggestion first. <laughs> Is that we initially didn't enter all the scientists' office because a few of them were locked. Well, we have the key cards, but because we're mm. trying to be stealthy. But at this point, fuck it, let's go and yeah. uh, look back there. There's so, got to be a level two pa- card somewhere. Yeah, I would see the scientists having it more than the guards. So let's head back up to the offices and see if anybody else is there. All right. And the so you're all leaving we the storage the room. Card. So you're all leaving the storage room and heading back out into yeah. the hall then. Also, what's in their guards up there? Oh, we killed all the ones in our immediate presence. And I meant the, the ones the where the scientists would be. I mean, oh, we don't that's know where... why you need to get into the hallway. You know, I mm-hmm. honestly think that the ones that ambushed us earlier came from the shooting range, so I'm... So well, there was must... only one in the shooting range, and I think most of them came from the mess hall. But we'll find out in a moment. We'll find yep. out. Me, Honors. you're first. <laughs> I was waiting on Mika and Rocket to come out. All right. You're the mistress of stink. Peek around the door and see if you see anyone. Well, frankly, they no way, so... Let's <laughs> open. <laughs> yeah. right. Stealth began, let's go. Right. I think stealth... Uh, that, that ship sailed, at least for this floor. Okay. Alright. Well, as you're heading up to the door to, prize, to push the button and open it up, the door back here, on the other end of the hallway from where you are currently at, Slides open. Oh, oh great. joy. Oh, uh, what is that? And you see a squad Elite. of four more soldiers, ah. except they're dressed in significantly different armor than armor. you're used to from the conventional DV Corp soldiers. They're um, better ones. They. The elite. They uh, see you up guys. ahead. They look up, see us like, intruders, there! And all lift their weapons, and we are launching into combat. <laughs> Well, oh, shit. they're sending better ones. Now I feel special. Oh, mm-hmm. joy. All right. Anyway, you. do what you do best. Got it. Take a shot. So nice. Hit. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. Damage will be halved because you don't group enemy, but you know. Yeah. That's oh. why I'm here. So yeah. Smush him. Execute them. Sixteen. Burn the buggers. All right. All right. You feel you're seeing them coming. You're like, oh shit! You lift a crossbow. You hit one of them, and it kind of 
digs into his shoulder plate a little bit before falling out with a small little squirt of blood. Just, ugh, didn't like it, but it wasn't too bad on him. All right. So I, that advanced armor of theirs to... maybe reacts to shock be to shocking attacks. Yeah, let's. All right. Group lightning spell at these fuckers. Let's see how they like it. Experiments for lightning. <laughs> Let's see how these guys like being experimented on for a change. Experimenting for his attacks. All right, that's twenty-five plus double for a group attack, and hopefully any extra from lightning. Let's find out. So, I... not robotic, but it just depends that's on how awesome. many electronics the Rama has, I guess. Hmm. All right. Well, Thanatos, you send out a barking bolt of fire over at them, and it dances between them, you know, crackling along their bodies. They uh, stiffen up a bit, but it uh, doesn't seem like you actually, they actually have a resistance to electricity, so the damage evens out. Yeah. Uh, so you only did 25 right, so damage. So they're resistant to electricity. Oh. Their armor, well, their armor seems to soak it up. Well, I just wasted all my power. Mika. <laughs> Alright. You're up. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do here. You could use group arrow spell. Alright. What she is going to do. These guys will have a weakness. We'll just hit them with everything until we find it. <laughs> I dear hope that these guards will drop an ether because I'm out of power. I think Ooh. that was Abitha's, so... Alright, that cost me 8 MP. But, that is 64 damage in total to the Devia Corp squad. As Mika steps forward, sword drawn, she gives it a few little twirls in the air, and it's, it's like an hourglass shape of wind, swirling in and around them and creating, like, little gashes and nicks and slices in their armor. One of them drops as he's picked up off his feet and thrown against the wall from the force of the winds. And you hear a ding! And then he crumples to the ground of this partially liquefied heap. Charming. Nice. I didn't know you know how to work in blender. <laughs> <laughs> was that, was, did you say blender? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, all right. That just leaves Rocket and Alistair. You guys are... That's all no. three and a half medium ranges away, so melee attacks are off the table for this round. Yep. They would take... Well, assuming they didn't move forward, it would take at least three turns to reach now, but they probably will move forward themselves. Mm. So well, they've, well, they've got guns. I don't know why they would. Mm. Well, depends on how... I mean, the only thing I could do is shoot, like... I mean, Magic at them. I'd rather one That's of us save MP for healing. Hmm. Besides, Dia, I don't think can do group damage. It, nope. it can't, no. Okay, so yeah. You, I'll say you two hold out. Alright. Mm -hmm. I moved here. Alright, so at the end of the uh, of the party's turn? Are you good with that rocket, or do you want to try and make a move? Want to move up I a bit? I can't get that far enough to make a move. Yeah. Well, you can move up a bit more, if you want to. Well, yeah. Could. But it would also put you in right there, direct firing line. Maybe yeah, you know. have Rocket, just keep an yeah. eye on this other door here in case of reinforcements. You know, if, so if I someone like... opens this, that's like... shit, Chocobo. I like, I like, I like this. The way, I like the way you think me. Alright, <laughs> go. Opens door, gets kicked in balls. Alright, <laughs> so, The remaining members of the squad are going to step forward. I need to really quickly check their stuff here. You never said how many exactly members in the squad are there? Uh, four. Just three. Oh, there four. was four? Yeah, there's supposed to be there's four. four. The picture I'm using only has three, but there are four of them. Well, there's three now, considering Mika liquefied one. Yeah. Good, Eric. Good wish. Mika made a smoothie. <laughs> that she did. <clears throat> so, what are these guys gonna do? Well, they are going to take exception to Mika blowing up one of their friends, and they uh -oh. are going to uh, 
lift their guns and open fire on her. Oh, that is such a... That's unreal. not a good idea, guys. Oh, no. And, a hit, which one and that hits. Of avoidance. Yep, that definitely hits. Bugger. They made a mistake. <laughs> knee eye twitch. The knee eye twitch. Urge to kill. Rising. <laughs> takes 29 <laughs> points of damage. Ow. As the uh, soldiers open fire, the loud sounds of their gunshots going off echoes down the hall, making your ears ring. Mika, like, throws her arms up to protect herself, and uh, some of them, some of the bolts bounce off her blade, but a lot of them, like, poke into, like, her legs and arms, and she's like, God damn it! Alright, our turn? Well, hang on. That was their attack action. The group is now going to use their movement action, as one of them shouts, Take cover! And immediately duck back through the door. Why are they taking cover? To get out of range of your magic. (laughs) Ah. Smart hmm. buggers. Alright, oh. so... They're expecting us to go in there where the sentries are. Clever bastards. Well, the thing is, well, we can reach them anyway, but I mean... Unless we can get into an attack position, next time they can move and shoot, but... Hmm. Before they're vulnerable again, but... Oh, right. I can That's move fine. up to here. Which... Oh, hmm. we move out there and lure them. I mean... Yeah, what if we move back into this hallway here... And yep. lure them. Because their idea is they're going to try to make us go in there where there's turns. Yeah, we can't reach them. Well, even then, we can't reach them. But next turn, they could, we could start moving, but we can't attack. Next turn, they can move and attack. So they, they're they freebie. But yeah, if we move back into this hallway and the hallway is clear, then they have to come out again, start moving towards us, and we kind of switch our tactics on them. So, mm. uh, if, so I hit the button mm-hmm. earlier. What... Did I ever see what was in the corridor? Yeah, it's as empty as you left it. No one seems to have gone in for now. So move about here, I guess? Lovely. So yeah. let's have Alisair and Rocket go into that hallway. And Well, all of us should at yeah, least go into one of these rooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was thinking that if I... Let's show an example. If one of us go here... Well, no, I'm not, not necessarily there because that's a bit out of the way. I mean, if we could go into one of these rooms... Well, we can't go in that. That's the that's the lift. We can't get in there. Yeah, you'd all right. Keep oh, well, right. The storage room, at least. But yeah. All right. Mm. Let's all just. Head... Yeah, Don't they all see us in... going? In... Yeah, let's all just yeah, head into this. In. Let's just all head into the uh, hallway. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. right. I just think all we right. can. So you them. all pile through the doorway and scrunchle through after a quick, quiet discussion amongst yourselves, and <laughs> you pass through the doorway. Oh, oh and. Uh... I can still, like, take a ether this turn, can I? Yeah, you've used your movement action, but it's a uh, but you can use either a normal or movement action to use an item. I, I'll say. Drink up, find a toast. You're gonna need so, yeah, it. I'll take an ether right now, and that leaves me with three left. Here, so you get seven MP back. Yes. Yes. Okay, so you're up to nine MP. I right, wait. What's Mika's health at? She's at seventy out of one hundred twenty-two. She's I almost at half, so a quick... I can heal her up. Yeah, so Alistair, go ahead and yeah. give her a little... Yeah, I know. Up. That's what I'm here for. Right. You have your squishy. She's my squishy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I went ahead no. and subtracted the MP for cure for you. Yes. And um, why the hell did that happen? Let's correct that. There we go. Sorry for that, but a bit funny then. It'd be mine, so double the mind. Uh, no sex. Uh, what level can he get the next level of. What was it like Kira? Kira is the next level of it, so. Uh, when can he get that shit? Uh, he can acquire Kira or any other uh, spell, white magic spell, that thing. Uh, I believe at level 5. Lovely, you're getting it at level 5. So essentially, next time you guys level up, he can grab Kira if he so wants. Which, which knowing you, we're going to be doing as soon as we blow up this place. That is the idea. Complete an arc, gain a level. 
All right. All right. So I believe that's all we can do. So yep. let's see what these guys do. All right. Well, since you guys have completely broken line of sight, they are no longer visible to you. So you can no longer see what they are doing. Well, they have to come in through this door. Mm-hmm. I mean, next turn, I could always take, like, a half movement in, and if they're, depending on what happens, half movement back. Because you can move up to one medium range. Or we could force them into the mess hall. Mm hmm Maybe they don't know what's in the mess hall. Let's see. All right, well, anyways, a few moments pass. You don't hear them in the hallway. <laughs> back to the party's turn. Okay. Don't hear them in the hallway. They might be trying. They might be trying to flank. I'm going to um... check in the shooting range. Or they might be splitting up and then attacking from both. Yeah, because I say some of us could go in here and some of us could run in here and try to. There might be some useful items in there too. Well, first, before, before we figure, first I'm just going to move up here. I'm going to hit the door control for the door. See what's inside. It is an empty shooting range. Anything interesting stuff. in there? Uh, make a scavenge check. Uh, hold on. This hmm. I will. I will no, also think do about it. Seven. Scavenges. Yeah, you don't really of... find anything particularly exceptional. No, think about it. If we disable the door mechanism on this door, fuck! It, it could slow him down a bit. Uh, well, I mean, that, that would mean we'd have to take the long way around either way, but I think it's ah, better for the moment. Okay. But, um, so if Mika takes center, Allison and Rocket take back, me and Thanatos take front. Sounds good. All right. So it was Mika and back with who you said? Uh, Mika takes center, so she's in between because she's the squishiest. Okay. Allison and Rocket at the back, Thanatos and me at the front. All right. Alrighty then. Alice here, back up. So I was gonna have a little scavenge. Right. Don't mind. Hey, they All took right. their guns with them to shoot us with. <laughs> I was hoping they might have left a potion or something in there. Oh. All right. That's us. All right. Neat. Let's go check and peek in the mess hall. We are yeah. technically still in combat, so remember your movement range limitations. Okay. So you find this. Like, like, I'm going to go ahead and say that for the sake of Ni and Thanatos, you pretty much used up your turn scouting yeah. at the shouting range. Okay. I think that was being in position and the shooting range, that was our turn. So just All right. All right. wait for the turn we can't see. Enemy turn. Yep. So as they do come into the door, they're going to get a freaking face full of chocobo. I go for the head, walk it, you go for the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Donk. Yeah, just <laughs> they open the door, staff comes out of bonk. Ow. <laughs> that individual just folds inwards. <laughs> <laughs> or no, they hit him at the same time, and he's yeah, just yeah. like, it's, it's... I don't know what pains me more, my head or my groin. Right. Party. You're up. <laughs> All right. Uh, how far can yeah. I move? If I move to the uh, to this side of the door. Thanatos, you take that side. Indeed. Um, we can both make that. Quiet. <laughs> All right. Pop and the rest, the rest of you, unless you have better ideas, uh, just move up a little bit, but not too far. Stay in like this general area. Yeah, just st stay behind me. Mika positions herself near Thanatos. <clears throat> I think me and Rocket just gonna guard this door. Yeah, yeah. you and Rocket stay back there. Hmm. Good. Keep our rear defended. <clears throat> yes, good lads. Let's go. Guard the ass. Hmm. Right, you opening the mess hall door? Yeah, opening. Have a look inside. All right. When you open the door, you see the remaining soldiers of the very squad you found, and a scientist who is currently huddled in the corner, giving out exclamations of alarm as the soldiers go rushing by. All right. Um, well. Me and these are also elite squads. Great. It's the same squad, but they divide it up so that they can move more freely. I cut their so in half for that purpose. I, I called it. I called it. I called so it. They're, they're, one of them only has one. One of them has two. Which one only has one? Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, just... Can you see their green bar? No. Nope. Oh, uh... 
They were delighting and conquering. Okay, well, let me edit them. Game, we must know our enemy. Okay, why isn't that? Oh, they. Hmm. Yeah. Hang on. Technical difficulties, everyone. Uh, all, of them. all I really want to know is just which one is like the <clears throat> low health one, yeah, which I'm would try, only yeah, have I'm one. Trying to out, yeah, I'm trying to mark them, but it's not letting me do <clears throat> it properly. Technical yeah, difficulties. I'm the, the one with the wrench only has one. Okay. I'm aiming for that one. All right. right. Shoot it. Shoot. She shoots. She scores 37. damage. 37. Well, shit. All right. Nice. He is the dead. You lift your crossbow bolt and... You, like, right under his visor, you hit him in the nose, and there's an explosion of blood out behind his head. Like, <laughs> collapses to the ground. You just Excellent. got enough piercing. Excellent. <laughs> and since I know these guys don't can take lightning, let's see how they like stone. Stones. <laughs> you need your stones, lad. Throw rocks at him. <laughs> Gonna rock their just well. And that's a group that's spell a on these guys, so that's double. How do you want to do that's... this? Oh, the dead. <laughs> Impalement from beneath them. All right. So, you uh, you see that those two sort of recalling in surprise as their uh, buddy gets shot in the head, and you take that and you capitalize on that moment to channel some energy into your hand and pull it up like you're pumping your fist in the air and... <laughs> Just rocks break up through the metal floor and close in on them like a, like a, like a fucking mouth. Just, <laughs> and then the rocks crumble away and they collapse. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So, Welcome. All right. So, any goodies we get from these fuckers? Well, there's also the scientist there. Don't forget. Well, first, mm -hmm. I, well, first I have to roll yeah. Gil. Tell him to you. run. Right. Oh, Roll again. Whether we can convince him, but again, uh, uh, we've been through that twice already. That's, so right. again. that's 350 gil. That that's 350 gil. Put that into our mm. collective bank. Yep. Your collective bank is up to 5,863. Mm. So we might actually be able to afford our next upgrades. <laughs> nice. Mm. Question. Uh, if we do try and do the whole convincing thing on this scientist again, can we just cut it down to just a roll so we have to do the same scene over? Hmm. Uh, yeah, sure, we can do do that. Go ahead and make a negotiation. It's nice if you want to live. It's like, take the black, <laughs> got it, fuck off. <laughs> actually, actually, an opposed finesse check, actually. Alright. Finesse? I just say it happened about I got four now, if you want me to no, do it's, it. No, it's uh, Mattel who's doing it at the moment. Oh. He seems to be My finesse most of is four, anyway, because I oh, have sweet. a thing, so... Or a ranger. Hmm. Well, not so much. I think also, one there's one other thing I extras. still need to actually roll for the uh, for the uh, the troops. Mm -hmm. Let's say, do we get any ethers, potions? You get two high potions. Lovely. Now, Nate, okay. do your thing. All right, so two d six plus four. Yeah, because I have a, I, I just have an extra bit of finesse because my dex is uh, was my that... dex is part of the calculation. And that... was that three? Was that three ethers? Yes. Lovely. Wonderbar. Eleven. All right. And this Eleven. We'll go ahead and say this guy is a finesse of one. Oh, All right. you came close, but not All right. And, uh, All right. It's going to have me so confused. Why does a stream of scientists coming his way? Like, what the fuck? All right. So this is to convince him to go to Sid? Yeah. Same general scene as before, but, you know, skipped because mm -hmm. we've done it twice. All right. He and was close, but guys. no cigar. And, yep, and, so. Uh, yep. and so that guy just goes, mm. and he is gone. Yep. yep. Did he have a key card? He did not. He was wise. Ah. All right. We need to Let's destroy con that turret. Before we head on to where the other turrets were marked on the map, let's head back to the scientist's office and see if we can get inside the three that were locked with this keycard. Indeed. 
Indeed. All right. First, first things first. Uh, Alice here. How many ethers do you have? Okay. Let's have a check. Give me a sec. I have. Oh. I have one. All right. All right. I'm gonna toss one of the ethers we got to Alice here. Now he has two. Thank you. And how many does Mika have? Zero. I'm oh, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I threw her one last round. Oh. She used it. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. a new one. I'm, okay, she gets another one, and then I keep one. So now I have four. Mika has one. Alice has two. Okay. All right. Wouldn't it be wise for her to have two? Uh, Let's see. You and her have a bigger pool than I do. Yeah. And they restore a lot more than they do for me. Mm, and you right. know what? I'm just. In fact, that new one that I just got, I'm just gonna chug it. All right. So that is so, another seven back to you. Thank you. So now you have three. All right. Save formation. Come on, mm-hmm. side of office. Yep. You. Be careful. You're free. Oh, sorry. We're gonna guard this area. Oh, come with us, like. <laughs> We don't necessarily need to guard that door now, just guard our rear. I'm about to say, those were the guys that were, we thought were going to come for that door, but no, they went the long way around. Mm. All right. All right, hey. so which ones were the locked ones again? Uh, I think the ones that weren't were this one and this one. Wait, that's a good point. All right, on this one, can I try that number one key card we got earlier? Go ahead. Ding. You slide it in. And after a moment, the keypad, bling, and the door <laughs> slides open. Anybody, anybody whom? No one is inside the office. It's empty, relatively speaking. You know, it's got the, the same terminal and computer systems. There's a few uh, documents pinned up on the walls for reference by the looks of it and a stack of paperwork on the desk. May I scavenge? Roll scavenge check. Nine. Nine? Okay. Nine. Uh, you look around for a little bit, but you're not finding any key cards in here. Okay. Next. Next, Next one over here. Yep. Second verse, same as the first. Ding! We'll scavenge. And there's nobody inside. No one inside. Okay. It seems the rooms lock when they are empty. Hmm, that's a good point. When we're done here, oh, critical. Ooh. critical success. Well, you are confident that there are no key cards in this particular room. You look high and low. And, yeah, no, there's nothing here. You do, however. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you do, however, if you will give me a moment, ah. because you rolled a critical All success, loss. I am obligated to give you a thing. Oh, good, good. I was, I was so scared. You are just super confident that there's fuck all in it. Oh, thanks. Ooh. Yeah. So I opened the door and find... Such success. Like a high thing. Now, give me a second. Well, that's a good point. When we're done here, should we take the, this way if we can? Well... I'm trying to catch him by surprise. Have... Well, we don't know if there's anyone down there, but we're going to have to search the place anyway if there's no key card. Hmm. Plus, you could go stabby stabby on that sentry. Yeah, there's also one down yeah, the bottom, break the though. Turret. So that turret. That one. Yeah. You do find an unusual pair of goggles in one of the drawers as you're searching through. Nani. Oh. Scholar goggles? No, well, you look them over for a Goggle, moment. Goggles. Uh, and it only takes you a moment to realize that this is a tier two accessory creatively referred to as goggles, that grants immunity to the blind status. Oh. Um, okay. Could that maybe... Mm, actually, no way it won't film Rocket. So, who wants well, it? <laughs> Rocket's accessory. Like, you can only wear one accessory at a time, can't you? Right. Yeah. Indeed. So, we're all wearing cloaks of ice resistance for Rocket, who's got that Joker Phoenix, thing. Thing. Uh, Phoenix thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess um, we'll move it up again. Uh, let's save this for later. I'm just going to put it in my, in my bag. All right. In All right, the bag it goes. It. All right. Last one. Wish you luck. All right. Open the, the, open the door. Scavenge check. And again, there's nobody inside. 
about another? How about another critical? Well, Number four. Well, good enough. It, it's good enough. You only needed like a five for this. As and you, Kikar? As you are looking around the room, it doesn't take you long to spot a... Uh, you do find a key card, silver in color. And when you reach down and pick it up, it has written in big, bold, black letters, level two on it. Cha-ching! And there is a sticky note stuck to the desk right next to it that reads, Don't forget this next time, you daft moron. Signed, <laughs> <management. laughs> Thank you very much, you daft moron. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Clearly they hired a Ben here. <laughs> uh, apparently. Now, so... Ladies and we, ladies and gentlemen, shall we go off to level two? We can. There is still the crew quarters, but I'm not entirely certain there'll be much more there other than where some of the scientists might have ran to. Well, do you want to check, or shall we just head to level two? I mean, we could. <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard. To, to I mean, might as plus. But we might yeah, as well. Just, just to be thorough. Just to be thorough. Just to be there thorough. There are two turrets marked on. The map that we got drawn up earlier. I'll take the top one. You launch lightning at the bottom one. Mm. I mean, if I do if a group one, it'll, if I do a group, <clears throat> it'll hit both. What does it that cost MP wise compared to? Um, group, I mean, a group spell doesn't cost any extra MP. Generally speaking, the caveat is that using a group based magic spell does less damage than if it's a single target. Phase. Yeah, That's and remember what happened last time where basically just, we got uh, one survived. minimum life. Well, let's just be sure. You use the big damage on the bottom one. I can, I can, you know, jump through the door and use ambush on the top one. Exactly. Yeah, yeah we, we can do that. All right. Yeah. Mm. Just keep in mind there's still three elite guards somewhere. You sure? Well, no, we no. killed them. They yeah, were no, the we killed hole. them. That, that was the ones that in the mess hall. Yeah. Oh. As far well, as yeah. we know, all the soldiers are dead. Yeah. On but this, of course, yeah, there may be more. As in you the to, yeah, yeah. As far as you are aware. From what you have seen so far, you've taken out everything you've spotted thus far on this floor. All right. So, All right. Then, I believe it's ladies first. Take up Go positions ahead. at the door. Usual line. Mm-hmm. Right. You two get the door. We hold back here. All right. Yep. All right. Come on, Storm. Let's do this. Okay. So that'll be... Uh... Go ahead so and... Ambush. Go... Yeah, go ahead and roll me a stealth check really quickly. Give yourself an additional d6, though. I mean, that's just overkill, because I already have a plus... Seven. It's stealthy time. <laughs> I was to say, she's got a plus seven. <laughs> Nothing can see her. Nate is super stealth. Super stealth. Let me see, how is the tallest member of the group the Do you think I did it? She's not, she's well, not the let, tallest. Let, let's find she, out. I need to roll she it She is the tallest. She's an elf. Or... Maybe rock. Yes, oh. you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. So, right. go ahead and make your attack roll, and uh, with ambush, go ahead and apply the appropriate damage buffs. That'll be to hit. Seven to hit. Oh, God. Well, I mean, their, I mean, avoid it's a... their avoidance is three, so... It's so... a stationary turret. How do you miss? Sure of a, I mean, yeah, sure of a critical fail, I physically cannot miss because I have plus four. So yeah, Exactly. 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 Now, damage. So, 2d6 plus, that'll be that was almost a critical 3, because it has an extra yes. time. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, that, turret, that, that turret is very much the dead. Yep, so. It is, it is double because of lightning. Yep, you, yeah. you quickly dart in, jump up, and yeah! reach up, and you plunge your dagger into it, because it's up on the roof. You stab up into it, and then... <laughs> The force of the explosion of it, short-circuiting, sends you falling back down to the floor. You bend your knees to sort of catch the impact. So everyone else you see, and you jump up, an explosion above her, and she sort of lands like superhero pose with flames licking at the walls and the ceiling around her before dissipating. God, that is very bad for my back. Thanatos, next one. Hmm. Allow um. me. Allow me. <laughs> All right, it's time for some lightning. Let's see here. I believe I've said in the past that a long range constitutes as three medium ranges, Yes. Oh, so I can't even aim at the thing? You are not close enough, no. Uh, oh. okay, I can, I can, I can still... Okay, I can, okay, so I started here. Movement. 
And so let's see here. You can get up to a medium so, range, so about there. So I can get about here, and that'll get me in range. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so yep. I, you're going. You're moving up in the world, Thanatos. And I already oh, rolled, oh, so. Shit. All right. <laughs> you, you, you like just yeah. let the thunderbolt fly from your hands, and it it just explodes. Mm. It sees you like you see it starting to spin mm. up, ready to fire at me, and then just nope. Bzz, boom, you deny that shit. It is Unknown exploded. Unknown power surge. Detect. It is right. gone. <laughs> me calls my stairs. Clear. Nice job, you two. Thanks. Fantastic. Right. Now right. let's check this quarters and see if we have to repeat the usual speech. God damn it. So, hey, me. God damn it. Turn thing right. in the this way. one first. Go in order. Right. What's so, it? You hey, me. Okay. Uh, yes. We should call ourselves the Lightning Duo. No. <laughs> what about chain reaction? <laughs> Shut up. No. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, Neophil, uh, if you're opening up that door, then I really quickly need you to roll me an awareness check. Uh oh. And someone's phone went off. I don't like awareness checks. Oh, right. 12. All right, so. Again. As you uh, slide the level one key card into the door and open it up, you are greeted by the sight of two scientists, one of which has picked up a lamp and is currently swinging it at you as the door swings open. Can I pack. just catch the lamp, take it, and just chuck it over my shoulder? Well, what's your avoidance? My avoidance is, uh, hold on, eight. By the way, this ain't an old-style lamp that goes smashing fire everywhere, right? I imagine uh, it's an oil lamp. Oh. So, so neat maybe not smacked probably. in the face with a lamp. <laughs> Apparently so. What's your armor? Eight. Yeah. My armor is um, eight, so it does nothing. Yep. So this person comes out and like clocks you in the nose with the with the lamp and like, and you grab it and you just throw it to one side. Like, ah oh, shit! And he immediately scrambles back further into the room. Seriously, a lamp? Did you see what we've just been doing for the last like hour? They are not saying anything. <laughs> Is there uh, anything useful for me? Uh, well, first, is this where I do the finesse check roll again? Yep. Can, can we just close the door and lock them in? Well, only well, that's not wise. If this place goes boom, we just do the wall speech thing again, and they're gone. Saving those who can be redeemed from, and you know, those who are slightly ignorant of the more terrible shit that goes on. All right. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, works. they're scared. All right. So, these so two... they won. So they fuck off. Yep, they leave, probably just out of a desire to not have you kill them. <laughs> Walk away if you want to live. And stay away from the lamps. <laughs> they don't help you. Especially once you get a I blue get... crystal. That shit's dangerous. Well, I guess it's my turn. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it was irritate me. Well, first, can I have a check around the room, like with a sure? Room? I wait. Yep, yeah. Go ahead and go ahead and scavenge check. Scavenge away, mighty knee. Eleven. Eleven. That is, uh, you find <clears throat> two antidotes. Ooh, I don't poisonous. like, I don't like that. The mm. fact that they have antidotes here and the fact that he's giving us antidotes means that something downstairs is going to shoot poison at us. Either that or he's, he's just got a dice that Randomize it. Yeah. Well, it? it's. I'm pretty much just it, giving you random shit. <laughs> this door will open. Will I don't believe. You? Well, I mean, oh, that's none of his concern. Anyway, I. All right, two antidotes in here. I'm gonna take one. Uh, Mika, Alistair, do either of you want the other? Well, mm. Alistair has Poisona, so he didn't technically need it. Mika. Mika, Mika heads down to this. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll take it. So Mika now has a, an extra antidote. All right, and Alice here, open the door, please. No, what? Right. Do I need to anything? So, uh... so... Yeah. Hey, look at that! We each have a door. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Dude, like pretty anything much. Anything in Alice's? Like pretty mm -hmm. much rapid success. For the sake of brevity, I'll go ahead and say you all open up your individual doors, and there is there are no more people. It seems like there aren't any other people in these rooms. <laughs> 
right. I just can't wait to see like what Sid makes of just all these scientists going. Like, we got a really big Engage. telling off that we're surrendering to you, and you know the eleven. I took these ah! eleven. Oh, critical fail, Cinch's curse. <laughs> oh dear. Anatos, as you are scouring around your room, you don't find any items. You do, however, accidentally knock something over, which lands on your foot, and you take a point of damage, so... Ow! <laughs> All of you shut up. Okay, so, Alistair... Are you all right in there? Piss off. Okay. Well, I got... Oh, 11! We're all getting 11s this at Vanitos, I'm sorry. Snake Eyes loves you. Apparently. Alright, and I'll need to roll Mika's scavenge. She doesn't have a bonus, so it's just a flat 2d6 for her. Maybe it's the one. Mm, okay. Oh. She's almost as... Oh, she almost did as bad as with me. Alright. So... So, Mika and Thanatos find nothing, but Alistair and Rocket, the two of you... The 11 duo. Hmm? Let's see. Alistair, you find two potions oh and rocket you find and what are they exactly they're just potions just potions like oh, regular okay. health potion yeah they restore 25 percent of your max hp and rocket you find an ether Ooh. nice yay hey rocket can i have it yeah here yay all right anyway i right. 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 back to four before we go to the next level, let's go sort out the scientists that we knocked out, but still like on the floor in the storage room. That's true. Oh, I can well, well, delete it. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, it was just I the was usual. Wondering why he's still in there? Wake oh, him up. Do the usual wake speech. Wakey, wake sunshine. Get him out of here. Again, right. don't want to leave any like not so. Sh I the, believe he was here. here yeah, 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 yeah. He was right here. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. negotiation check as per usual. You come in and you find this guy who you assume isn't even necessarily a scientist. He looks more like a, like a maintenance guy picking himself up. All right. So, uh, you should probably leave. That's a nine. Sorry for the bonk of the head. Yep. He, 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 he like, as leave. soon as you, like, step out of his way, he just sprints out. <laughs> He doesn't seem to be interested in whether or not what you're talking about is the truth. He just seems interested in not being near you. Sid's brig is going to be full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we're probably not going to be able to do the same for the it's level like two. It's like the Broly guys. movie all over again with the well, well, judging by case by case, who can be redeemed and who's just another... What's the scientist lady we locked up before again? Nabat. Nabat. I keep forgetting it. Right. Another Nabat who's completely unrepentant and Resting bitch face. <clears throat> so, I shall take the level 2 card and open the ele elevator. Bong. Alright. Now, nah. ladies first. Well, aren't you a gentleman? Aww. So much for age before beauty. <laughs> How old are you, Alistair? <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright. You all step inside. And after a moment, the door slides closed. There's a brief jerk. Oh, beware. The there's a brief Please jerk tell me the there's no elevator music. There is oh, no that would be wonderful. Please do elevator music. I do not have elevator music on me at the moment, so you do not get elevator music yourselves. I am sorry. Oh, I was going to... Thank God. I was going to use my staff to sort it out. Now, just be ready, just in case there's someone waiting for us at the bottom. Quite. Now, I don't care for untalented so, so then, music. Let's there, see what level two looks like. So there is this uh, brief jerk as the as the elevator starts in the motion. <laughs> you know how much weight could this elevator hold? That's what I'm wondering and then right now. The uh, door <laughs> slides oh, we're open. A little, and... We're a little bit down, guys. And you are greeted to this site. Oh, hey, a squad. Hey, me, you called it. Yep. And a turret. And a turret at the end, so we're going to want to... Uh, oh, fuck, it's me. And more turrets. All right. So, 
You step out, and, that, and this squad down here is already, like, poised and ready to go. So I actually need everyone to actually uh, make a roll really quick. Why to is see it? if they get what a surprise kind of round on you or not. Uh, let's see. I need... Let's go ahead and just make that an opposed finesse check. If finesse? Get, yeah, and if they roll finesse. higher, than, and if they roll higher than uh, let's say three of you, then they get a surprise round on you. I told you guys that they might be waiting for us. So at least, Critical success. Okay, so at least three nice. of you need to roll higher than. Eight. Critical fail. Well, that cancels out Dennis' critical success. Oh no! Damn it, me. All right, that's one. All right, that's one fail. Fuck. That's... All right, guys, okay. you need to hit more than seven. Come on. Oh, there Begin we magic go. Mode. Okay, Rocket. Alistair. There you go. All right, and Mika's finesse is plus four because she's badass like that. It's the one to say, be careful because they might be waiting for us, is the one to get the cripple fail. Exactly. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, you be, yeah, as, as, yeah, as you were busy saying that, yeah. Hmm. And right. Rocket's just tied with them. Dice. All right. So the door opens. The soldier's like, there they are! And ready to fire, but you see them there. So you, so typical rules apply. You I'll take first. the moral victory because you lot wouldn't have been aware if I hadn't said it. All right. <laughs> now, Nate, now, Nate, but before we go out, let me do a group lightning attack. See if I can take these turrets out. It's a quad. I wonder how much range these turrets have, like the one. Oh, yeah. If, even if it... Does we if we take out those two, then we can take cover side of the T. Indeed. Okay, yeah, you take can hit you can, you can hit those two turrets, and you can but hit that the one's way out. Corp, the elite You can't hit the turret at the very back, though. I mean, I'm sure I just can. Hit just hit the turret. Just hit the trees. Just break the pew pews already. <laughs> I am if those the ones, then we'll take cover in the side corridors. Your ah, lightning does shit. jack shit to the elites. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, not quite enough to take them out. Indeed. Well, we can still do that this round. Indeed. We deal with so, first. You step out and uh, kind of repeat your little four moment from earlier. You punch the ground and... <laughs> lightning branches out across the floor, dances up the walls, and hits the turrets. <laughs> you notice that these turrets, as soon as you do that, you look at them, and you actually notice that these appear to be a more sturdy model than the ones you were dealing with upstairs. Oh, okay. Oh, great. So, and, you deter and you're able to determine that they have more hit points as a result. All right. No oh, shit. Great. Well, all fuck right. it. I'm going to move. So for the sake of that, there. I'm going to put Thanatos right there. Okay. You still have a bit of movement left if you want to move somewhere else. I was going to move somewhere um, like. I'm going to move out of their line of sight over here. Right. So I've moved. I'm going to take a shot at this one. I'm going to shoot this one. Well, with what? You don't have a ranged oh. weapon, Alistair. Oh. oh. I, I mean, thought I could got... do that magic thing. I mean, he's got Dia. Yeah, you'd have to cast Dia. a spell, which costs you MP. It isn't quite Can the same. Rocket get in... Can Ro... Can they get in melee range? 11 to hit. Oh, hang on. Uh, for melee range? No, not quite. 11 to hit? Uh, I'm pretty sure that hits. Yeah, their avoidance is still 3, so yeah, you hit. Roll damage. I mean... Right. How much MP would it cost for Dia? It's up. You have it written down on your character sheet, don't you? I don't see it. What, what the fuck's wrong God. with you? You're supposed to God. write this shit down. Dia costs 7 MP. God damn it, Alistair. Well, I thought it was fixed. What, what do you All mean right. fixed? It was never broken. The character okay. sheet. Oh, that. Okay. Yeah. Is that for your bow or... Okay, okay that's for crossbow. You can't move far, yes. far enough to get into melee range to get a crossbow. So, so no damage, double you fire off a shot knee. <laughs> you hit the turret and one of its supports kind of boom, and it sags a bit, but it's still actually going. Crap. Let's see here. Mika is Mika in long range. If I can use the right button. Mika is in long range of this other Magitek turret, so she is going to cast a single target arrow spell at it. That will cost her 8 MP. That she'll do higher damage. Lumina, you could make a run to the side Alice's on and start moving towards the other turret. Just... That one will have more health next turn. Must be out of range. 37 oh, damage. 
as Mika, you know, points her sword at it, and like a gust of wind just <laughs> blasts past Alistar and Rocket, but only really picks up as it reaches the turret, and uh, <laughs> you see its armor over plated, like denting under the pressure of the winds, and the wall behind it denting as well. It's so. still up, but all right. All right, and I'm Alistair, gonna shoot and Alistair so what you were I casting mean? Dia, yes? Yes, okay. so what I need to roll. Uh, Dia does damage equal to power times 2 plus 2d6 holy damage. So roll 2d6 and add your power multiplied by 2. Okay. So power at the moment is 5, so it be a 10. That's your power? Okay. I mean, he's a paladin. All right. Rolling. Well, All right. Something. All right, so, Alistair, you lift your staff up, it glows with light, and a series of pearls of energy shoot out from the gem embedded at the top of your staff, fly around to encircle the turret, glow for a moment, and then a series of pinpoint narrow beams of light cross around each other, shooting through a central point of the turret, and it explodes. It is a dead turret. Uh, ah. Alistair actually did something. All right, I believe that's the everyone now. Hit. Yeah, that is everybody. Okay. And we're out of their line of sight, so they have to come to us. Yeah. Never doubt my power. All right, so the the remaining turret is going to open fire on. Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Damn it! Uh, yeah. It's going to attack Mika because she's closest. Fuck! <laughs> This place is just making me mad. <laughs> okay, she needs to stay behind me now. Shit. Protect Mika, Soul Wind, at all well, costs. That cost. is a 15 to hit. These suckers Which is a most definite side. hit. It definitely is. Fudge. Kill the shooty shooty bang bang. Oh, I'm sure bang he's bang going bang. to. So that's in this... 24 damage to Mika. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Knee, fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, next turn I can get close enough to use my dagger. <laughs> All right, so the elite Devia Corp squad is going to take a slow action. <clears throat> uh oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. So that will go off next round. I don't like it. If anyone can try to disrupt that, and the other turret well... back here still can't hmm. do anything. So wait a minute, Tom. So the way to stop a slow action is either knockback. A critical success, a critical hit, or a team work attack, right? Yes. Or a like a limit break, but yeah. Okay, so. Oh, right. before we before you try and do that, I'm going to finish off the seating turret and yeah. get up close and dagger it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Me, yes. Go ahead. Me, fuck up sentry. Thanatos, do everything in your power to Eight, stop that slow action. <clears throat> hmm. Oh shit! Oh that, no! Take off the. Ten of that. I mistyped, mm. but yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. It's dead anyway. Well, I'm at my uh, say, okay. it's, it's you. So you jump up, it's pretty much dead. carve it's dead. through it, sort of go sailing past, put your foot on the wall back here and kick off just as it explodes and land right back there. Alrighty then. Mika, teamwork attack. All right. I do, sto I do stone, you do wind. All right. Ah! Both group attacks. Disrupt these Tornado guys. of stone. <laughs> Thing is, I don't think teamwork attack actually works with magic. Let me double check the rules on that. Fuck. Oh. But there Come could be a torn. It'll be it badass. Could... It could be a tornado of stone. Okay, okay of shush death. for a second so I can read it off. Okay. On his or her turn, each player interested in participating in a teamwork attack must declare this intention ahead of time. Each player then makes an attack or casts a spell. Okay. Yes. There you go. The thing is, I thought the so. thing is though is your two d sixes for damage will at least one of those will have to match. So if so if you wind up so if we wind up rolling very different uh, damage numbers on our two d six, we're gonna be screwed on that front. The other option is to just move to the ends of the corridors, hopefully out of range whatever the hell they're about to do. I mean, we could do that. Just I thought it was, was, was going to be a... Died. 
I mean, even if the teamwork attack doesn't work, this is going to do a shit ton of damage. Wait, that's know? a good point. What's in these wombs? Right. Well, we don't know. All right, well, here, before you do your teamwork attack, Rocket, uh, or oh, Alistair, you stay where you are and maybe cast a healing spell on Mika because she got hit bad. Okay. Rocket, if you could maybe move just to, like, slightly out of range, but, like, to this far wall. And yeah, make sure you're completely so they, out of sight. So if they do move up, you can jump them. Although I could move back here and still cast something. Yeah, just stay out of, out of range. Cast a healing spell on Mika. Mika gets a few health, so if they fuck up, she has a bit more of a chance. And then let Thanatos and Mika do their team attack. Sounds like a plan. I like it. All right, you casting Cure on Mika then? Indeed. Okay, roll that shit. Got it. No harm with a little bit of healing. Long as it ain't the enemy. Yeah, please don't. Boom! 35. If you if you critical fail and heal the enemy, we get to slap you with a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now then. Hey, slapping you with a fish I'm... fixes everything, alright? Now then. Mm. Alright, now can we try our badass moment? Yep, you, <laughs> if, you, if you want to make it a teamwork attack, you may, otherwise you could just roll it normally. So yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that, so three, this will be teamwork two, attack. Come, okay. So come on. she needs at least a four or a six. Come on. Four or six. Four or six. Four or six. Crap, four what, six. what the hell is it? I, I, right. miss, I missed that. I missed that. Okay. Come on, Mika. Come on, Mika. Come on, Mika. Come on, Mika. Yes! Yes! Yeah. 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 Okay. Also, don't you two yes. need to like just as a small thing need to just move into range. Yeah, we need well. to. Yeah, we need to go to the middle of the hallway. Whoa! Teamwork. Mika. All right, she's coming. All right. Unleash the tornado storm of stones. Right. Like okay, so so how can we do this? Rock tornado. Rock tornado. Exactly. Okay, so. That's Pretty much. Here's what happens. Um, Thanatos, said, yeah. you uh, you know, point at them and uh, lift your sword up, and uh, a collection of spikes of rock rise up around them, and you see that, that they're like collectively pulling for things from their belts, and you recognize shock grenades. But they stop for a second as they see the spikes of stone piercing up through the floor. I'm like, what the fuck? And then Mika points her sword, and then the two of you like cross your swords together until like the pot, the hilts touch. You know, the cross guards. And uh -huh. then poof, a tornado kicks up around the soldiers, picking them up and throwing them around. And along with the stones that break into a bunch of smaller pieces and swirl in there in the opposite direction with them, battering them on all sides and dealing a collective 138 points of damage and interrupting Fuck. their slow action. Are they dead? Uh, most of them, there's one left when the tornado ends. <laughs> Three of them, like, just mulch are just scattered across the walls around just And one more horribly bruised and beaten, but still combat worthy. Standing in the, the middle of his... He falls to the ground. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Mommy? <laughs> I say, Mika, fist bump. She, she fist bumps. You focus just your as I imagined it. All right. Now then, I believe that's everyone, yes? Yes. Uh, yes, that's everybody that can do something. All right. So, let's see. So they were going to throw shock grenades at us? Yep, and uh, this last one is going to, that slow action is going to end. So he makes an attack roll against Thanatos and Mika because they're right there. Hit me. Welcome. Hit me. It's a group it's attack. Both. It attacks both of you. Oh, uh, uh, okay. It's a freaking grenade. Let's see your... Was he got an What's assault rifle? It oh. wasn't the uh, slow action interrupt. It was, but oh, yeah, that was shock grenades. Oh, yeah, that's right. Never mind. Okay, so is, he doesn't do the shock grenade. He is using his gun, though. That's a 14 to hit, which I'm pretty sure hits both. You guys. Yep. Okay. I believe both of our avoidances are six. That's your, and your, uh, you, your armor is eight, correct? Or is it more than that? No, mine's 12. Hers is eight. Okay. What? More armor for Mika. So that's that's twenty eight damage to eight Mika. to Mika and twenty four to me. Actually, no. Yes, twenty four. All right. So he picks himself up and unloads with his machine gun 
and a bunch of shots, you know, go shooting by you, and but you know, you you, you you're able to protect yourselves from the worst of it, and, you know, kind of ducking back a little bit and using these corners as a bit more cover. Mm-hmm. Hey, here and after he me. does, th- let's see, and after he does that, this guy is going to turn around and, and go into one of these rooms, and he is going to duck back into this room over here. The door sliding open. <laughs> I need more people in there. Right. Hey, Nee, he shot your girl. Kill him. <laughs> I can't make it this next turn. Into range. Mm. I think we scared him. What do you think, Mika? Yeah, no, I think he's going for backup. Alright. So we want to look into these rooms, or do we want to go after him? Well, well the remember, there's all these rooms. Are at the end of the corridor. So, there. best to check these. Currently out of range of. But... I'm about to say, I... I can't shoot at it. Okay, can make Thanatos get in the cover. Okay, let's... T- get in the cover and take a shot at it, Thanatos. Yeah, you Although, there, you can main. attack with a spell. Okay. Is so, it still, is, you, and just, you can move about that far, so, yeah. Can the turret shoot Probably at us not. from all the way down there? Yeah, it has long-range attack, so... But it, but, so, if it's, but it has to be its turn first. Yeah. So, basically, move in range and chuck it. <laughs> With the normal, and remember, he's got uh, tougher uh, armor, so use right, so... a single Wouldn't... one. And maybe, um, like, the guy who's just still visible in that doorway could be dealt with probably by Mika because I think he's the only one who can get there in time. Indeed. So, 2d6 plus 33 for a lightning attack. That's 40 times 2. That's 80 damage to Mr. Turret down there. All right. If he does make it into the room, actually, when we go into that room anyway, because so there's more in there, or we'll have should have rocket go in first and she's the tank. And right. it'll then it you room. fire off a thunderbolt, you lose five MP, and <laughs> it doesn't explode, but it's pretty fucked up. I'll go ahead and reveal uh, the these reinforced turrets HP bars to everyone now. Okay, so how much hmm. HP do these fuckers? You determine think... that they have a maximum of 90 hit points, these ones. Okay. So there only has 10 Can left. Can we finish it off or not? Alright. Alright. Uh, let's see. Knee can't get in range. I no, said I'm, I'm taking my movement. Yeah, me, knee's already moved. Alright. Oh. Uh, Rocket can move up to there. Also, if Rocket and Alice are. Let's check the doors. Should oh. we check the doors? We can check the room when we're, you know, we're not going everything. to be shot at by the people currently fighting. True. That, is, no. that is true. It would have a nasty surprise if we went scavenging now. Yeah, let's make sure everything here Priorities. in the vicinity Mika is, is dead. going to position herself here. If she does a group arrow spell, will she hit both of them? Uh, I think so. oh, the token's slightly sticking out. Yeah, okay, I'll allow that. So Mika is going to use 8 MP to use a group arrow spell. I was uh, inaccurately. Magic. That it's room. the only true answer. Right, so Ooh! One, two, one, so two, close eight. to critical. Yeah, turret's gone. I'm going to say turret's gone. And that guy yes. down there was pretty fucked up, so I imagine he's gone too. Maybe. Maybe. Right, so, Mika, you know, pulls out her sword and uh, with a bit of a huff, like, <sighs> quickly sends out like a quick two slash of her sword, sending out little compressed <clears throat> gusts of air, you know, with their magic. First one flies up and explodes the turret, you know, cleaving it in half, and <clears throat> and the second one hits this guy, and uh, ah! he hits the wall a bit as he's trying to push through the droid, and he keeps going. Are you serious? I mean, if it's any consolation, she cut his hit points in half. <laughs> and he's still up. All right. Still up. <laughs> All right, he's going to go through. When we follow him, um, if me and Thanatos take either side of the door, Rocket, do you want to go center since you're a big tank here and it'll probably be a smaller room you can go and kick something? Well, it's his turn, isn't it? Yep. Well, I'm talking about when we get our turn. Hmm. Indeed. So... This guy is going to depart deeper into the room and uh, begin a different slow action. Yeah. I don't like. I don't back like to, that. Back to the rest of the party. That'll be next turn. 
Um, Another grenade, I guess. All right, stay, stay away from that door for now. Let's just start. Uh, I guess this door, isn't it? Yeah, it's that door. I see. He went. He went through that one. All right. So if we start getting that formation now, um, when I if just, uh, we highlighted a bit more to show that that's the one he opened. If Rocket takes center and me and Thanatos flank her, if that's okay with you, Lumina. Hmm. Okay, but I'm vulnerable to lightning, you know. You see, that's what makes me yeah. worried. If these guys have shock, it's a shock. That's, that's also shock why it equals electricity. That's also yeah, why, though, I don't want to go close to the door this turn. Why we're forming up the corridor? Because yeah, they everybody behind. form around rock. I'm also guarding Mika. I'm going to do cover. Right, that is, okay. Not everyone's speaking of me. Speaking of Mika, she should probably chug a ether. Yeah, she's going to chug the ether you gave her earlier. So we stay up brain. the corridor this round, let him complete his slow action, <clears> and <throat> then when he's not going to be doing that anymore, then we can head around the door and Rocket can go and kick some nuts. I shall fortify this waifu. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, so back to the end. look combat. after her. Indeed. All right. Without any of you coming into his line of sight, his slow action comes and goes without effect. Alright. Uh -oh. This turn, uh... And, uh... It means... You, you, you can't see what he's doing. Back to the party. I swear, if he stabbed himself, it freaking... I mean, what... Slow All action. Right. Shouldn't he... I don't like oh. this. His slow action went off. Yeah, it uh, went off, but no uh, one was it was around to be targeted, so it went off uselessly. So you uh, did uh, so Rocket, if you move. can take the left side of that door there, because you can reach. Ready for, like, a breaching. Sure. Point to the door. <sighs> the one that has a bit this more one. shit revealed. The one where the arrow is pointing to. Where my arrow is pointing to. That's where... Can just you can... get there. Mine's, nope. mine's the green one, because that's within the medium range. Up there. That one there. Yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd be there. Okay. You're freaking confusing your honest here. <laughs> Sorry. But mine's red. Yeah, because you set your color to red for whatever reason. Red versus right. blue? Oh my I'm God. not going to stand at all. <laughs> I'm going to stand behind the behind bird. Rocket for the moment. So, actually, if you will just kind of pile up in like a line. For the moment, and then next turn, can I get we can to the breach. other reach. Okay, I can't yeah. get to the other side of the door. That's why I'm saying pile up in the line because I know it's going to reach the other side. All right. I can We're all lined up. All right. I'm sticking here. With me. Yep. yep. Yeah, I'm sticking right, here. With over cover. to the enemy. All right. So, careful, you have, no idea, you have no idea what that guy's doing. I need everyone to roll an awareness check really quick. I hate you. Really? Why is my dice not working? Whoa! There we go. 11. 11. 13. Wait, did it roll? Oh, it's 13. Yes. Nine. Um, okay. Rocket. Rockets. Burp. Hold on, I accidentally forgot to type roll. My one lagged for some reason. Uh. Oh, Ten. okay. Ten. All right, everyone. Oh, and I still need to roll from Mika. Her, oh, mm -hmm. her stunning awareness of full. Oh. Um. Eleven. Okay. Um. So, so you all get. So you all got it, including Mika, who you're sort of perk up, and you all hear a <laughs> behind you a ways. Hmm. Pardon. And, uh, you hear. Feet on the metal floor. Oh, I knew we should have checked that room. All right, so there's another mm. squad. All right, so, so we I have need to determine real quickly how far they can move. Right, so they can move there. are right. Yeah. Shit. Okay. All right, so there are there are the people in here. I assume this is going to be a. I'm assuming it's going to be a smaller room, just judging by the, how the general layout seems. I could be wrong with that. Okay. Um, we, we're going to want some. Of us, we're going to want to split here. Some of us watch out behind. Some of us go into that room to. All right. 
Yeah, me and Mika, me, Mika, and Alistair will take care of these guys. Mm -hmm. right. And Rocket, then... you and me, breach and deal with whatever's inside. Stay behind us, Mika. We got you. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Rocket, what you're is... going into the room. Yep. Mm -hmm. We both are. All right. Well, Rocket is going Breaching. first. So you step in and you find that it's this. Uh, it appears to be a storage room of some description. There are a lot of uh -oh. shelves all sort of lining the walls and the center of the room, creating a set of uh, <clears throat> three aisles with uh, the shelves. And uh, each one is filled with little canisters and cylinders and small containers. And uh, there is a label overhead that reads hazardous item containment. Oh! <laughs> Me, you know what to do. And you see the, I, I, and you see the soldier right there. He's shaking heavily and trying to lift his gun to fight back. So this ha this hazardous material is above him, did you say? And he he's like amongst the shelves. Knock down the shelf. How Rocket, close are we knock down to the shelves. Shelves. Okay, I'm gonna knock the shelf out. Okay, make oh, a all right. Uh, okay, make a force check then. Yeah. Okay, force. Timber. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for this asshole. Oh no. Is this the end of me? This is the end, my this friend. This is the end. Yeah. The end oh. of the world as we oh. know it. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Right. So, what winds up happening is you come forward with your metal leg, you lift it up, you kick the shelf next to him, and it starts to fall over, and he's like, oh, shit, he lifts his arm up and catches it, adrenaline pumping through his veins, he barely keeps it from toppling over on him. Yeah, can, I, can I finish the, the job by shooting him in the stuff on the shelf? The, stuff, the like... stuff that's on the shelf is all starting to roll and slide. It's like, no, 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 no. But, uh, Neothil, if you <laughs> want to shoot before it all falls, go for it. Yeah, like, literally, like, as he, the arm he's using to kind of hold the shelf that Rocket's kicked over, if I shoot him in that arm and cause him to, like, not be able to, <laughs> essentially. Yes. Attack roll. Shoot him in the... Do it. And now... <laughs> The end is to near. Cause the <laughs> Which actually, uh, hmm. could would, would could I use that as like a disabling shelf with disarm, as in disarming him off the shelf? Nah, no, just that's a just, that's a bit of a stretch. You can just use regular yeah. attack for this. Would, would it work if I hit him of him actually recording, or would you just take out the damage? That's he'll what I'm asking. Just, I mean, he'll just take damage, but I mean, he's pretty fucked up, he... man. If you hit him, he's probably just gonna go down. And yeah, then the shelf on right. Yes, do it. Weaken his arm. Come on, bring that shelf down. Just do it. Ten. That hits. Roll damage. I mean, does he really even need to? Oh, oh what a day. What a better. lovely day. <laughs> All right, so you fire the shot and... <laughs> it hit him right in the side of the neck. It pokes out the other side. Blood gurgles ring, he quickly just uh, slumps to the floor with the shelf falling down on top of him. Canisters and little metal boxes clatter all around him, making this great ruckus. <laughs> and uh, some of them, uh, one of them, uh, let, let, let me roll a thing real quick. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. And through your lucky day, they all remain closed. Alright. Oh, so, dear. Yep, so that so guy dear. is. That's not what I was trying to do, but I'll take it. I will leave his body there so I can remember to take him into account when rolling Gil later. He's dead! All right. All right. Everyone else already made their movements, right? Indeed. All right. Yep. Back to the enemy is the second arrived squad. They you shall not pass. are going to come right over here. <laughs> and they're going to shoot at us. They are going to shoot at Alistair because he is in front. Hit me. I dare you. I say, Alistair will do find it, me. Do it now, hit me, come on, I'm here. Do it. What's your avoidance? Do it now! I don't think um, I'm pretty sure they hit you with that so, 15. When did you two yeah. turn into Schwarzenegger? <laughs> <laughs> it's just too I, I half expect Tone to throw a predator like creature at us now. Someday, the maybe. But I'm, pretty sure that, but I'm pretty sure you just got hit, so uh, what's your armor? Yep. Okay, my armor is 12, so it didn't do much. Oh, no, that's just that's, accuracy. That's accuracy. Hmm. That's 26 damage Alistair just took. 
And oh. it's just but a flesh wound. Yeah. As they it is but a scratch. Yep, yep, as they open up and unload on him. A lot of it scrapes off his armor, but he does get a few nasty bullet holes here and there. <laughs> Correct. Back to the party. Come. All right. Thanatos. Allow, allow me. Mm-hmm. Well, while they're doing that, I'm just going to step back into the corridor. All right. Group stone spell. So that's nice. five AC. Because I'm going to hold my ground and protect Mika. Indeed. Eight. Leave that corpse in the chemical grave rocket left in. Quack. All right. So, and I'll go ahead and subtract the MP. So, you uh, from the same hole left behind by your last Earth spell, you lift up a few more spikes of Earth and send them flying. They fly into the group, and uh, one of them goes back and gets pinned against the wall. The other sort of gets some scrapes on their armor, but they seem to be okay for now. Mika is going to step up. Going to expend mm -hmm. 8 MP and cast a group arrow spell on them. Ooh. That's going to be 31 Ooh. damage to them as a whole. Nice. Yep. Uh, one of them gets... Well... One of them is, like, on death's door as the, she, like, sends another one of her uh, pressurized wind slashes from her sword at them, and it's like... Damn! Two of them are still standing strong, but one of them is, like, clutching at his chest, dropping his like, <laughs> like, his armor is compressed into his chest, making it damn near impossible for him to breathe. I'm going to fire a shot at them with the added disabling shot oh, on the minus hit. due to their accuracy. And Alistair, so are, gonna... are you attacking too, Alistair? Yeah, I mean... so I... Okay. He let... They took go a ahead. shot at me. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and let Alistair take a shot at him. Okay, go ahead and roll mm -hmm. damage then, because that hits. Excellent. Right. Finally, the dice is working for me. Indeed. Now roll. Indeed. Alright. Let's... Let's see, what's my damage? Uh... It's been so long since he's actually done damage, he doesn't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, it's a damage? plus 26. What is damage? How does this work? Concept of yours. Because uh, it is damage, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 30. That's cut in half. Or actually, there's only one left, so... Yeah, there's one that's hurt. Yeah, there's three left. One that's hurt. Oh. One that's hurt. So, so in other words, he just clonked the hurt one. So you come oh. in on the hurt one and you clonk him across the side of the head with your staff. There's a flashlight. He goes flying off to one side and crumples to the floor, and the group is up down to two. Neothil, your right. damage. The hit. I ain't got 12 time hit. to bleed. 12 will hit. Roll damage. Plus 26. And this hit, so that's 31 damage after, I guess. And also, next on their turn, they'll have minus two to their accuracy. All right, so that's another 15 damage to the squad as well. You hit one of them like in the sternum and he staggers back. <laughs> Rocket, what are you doing? You're kind of far away from them at the moment, but I can't really get to them. You can start to. You can start to. I think they're I mean, pretty yeah. dead. Time again. You could always do a quick cursory search of the room you're in. Oh yeah, quick cursory search maybe. Okay, roll scout. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, there's a bunch of really dangerous shit in there, so... Let's see if you can identify any Be of it. careful. If you have it in your database. Did you have a database? I would have thought so. Isn't it brave to stay at least? Well, part of heads I want to get technical about it. So... Maybe. We see where we are, everything in this place is technical. Ten. Ten? ten? Alright. Roll... Ten! You find a bomb core. Ooh! A little, a little jagged sphere of what looks like charcoal that's still trying to burn. Uh, when, if you were to throw this at someone, it would deal power times four, fire non-elemental damage. No two d six attached, just power times four damage, a fire or non-elemental. I like mm. it. I like oh, it. Nice. Save that for the boss. 
All right. Rocket has a bomb. We're doomed. <laughs> yes, we are. All right, back to the enemy. Rocket thinking. found the source of the ticking. It's a yep. time bomb. Yay. All right. All right. Now to them. Yep. They are going. To... They have minus two to accuracy. Oh, they shoot. So will they run they or are... will they stay? They are going to move over here to get a cleaner shot. At all of you. At Mika. Oh. They are going to all shoot at So they have all of you more in their sights, rather. When you yeah. say all of us, you mean just us three up here, right? Yeah. I'd say yeah. that's going to be quite a shot if they hit me. And they are right. going to shoot at. Find out. <laughs> They're shooting at Mika. Motherfuckers. Fuck. And that's, remember, that's minus two to their accuracy. I know. Seven, Seven. hit, her avoidance is, is six. six. So they yeah. still hit her. So much for cover. They just tried to hit someone else, goddammit. I damage, tell them to hit me, but no. They must hit the wife. Why does Mika keep getting shot today? Mika gets a collection, probably because she can fucking wind slash. You know, she takes more shots and staggers back, you know. She's at half HP, so it's like, yeah. I can impale people with rocks. Son of a bitch. Lightning, very, very frightening. Well, I would be shooting lightning these guys if they weren't freaking resistant to it. Alright. Now. I'm going to move up here. Um, right, you two, take a good shot at them. I'm going to uh, heal up Mika. Alright. All right. Um, Come on, go ahead come on, come on, stay shot. with me, stay with me, stay with me. 11. Yeah. 34 so that's... points back to Mika. I mean, she's not dying, that was it, so don't worry about that. Yeah, she was at half. Yeah, level. but she took, a nice... she took a nice hit, though. All right. 32. 32, that's cut in half still, because I think there's two left. Yep. 16. And... 16. Give me just a second, I need to real quickly run a quick calculation. Ah! All right, so with that shot, Neotho, you fire it off, and zzz, you hit one of them square between the eyes as they're going to reload, and he staggers back. There's only one left. I shall take care of it, and I'll be using uh, Vermilion's Edge. To slice him? Yep. Nice. Oh, wait, I got to roll accuracy first, don't I? Fuck. Fuck me. All right. Accuracy not. is three. Yeah, no thanks. 11. 11 to hit, their avoidance is 7, so yep, you hit. Seven damage. So you come out to the soldier who's still standing and sort of a crack him across the across the jawline with the with the guard of the Vermilion's Edge, and as he's spinning from that, you lift up a foot and you kick him and he goes flying back into the wall over here. <laughs> Lands, he's still alive, but he's he's pretty hurt. All right, Alice here. Oh, okay, Fast. No, uh, he, already, he already healed. Yeah, Mika. Uh, Mika. Mika. Mika is going to come up here. Vengeance. Run up. He is going to use a melee attack to conserve MP. Indeed. Oh, this should be good. That's going to be. Uh... The sword wielders will kill them. He's bound to get bonk. We're just gonna lose his head. Depends on what her mood is. And considering they just shot her, probably a bad one. I'm gonna have her actually make use of real. No, that wouldn't work here. It would only work. Six on one of those. So. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh. So, yeah, he's dead. So, yeah. So as, this swoops, last soldier is lift, yeah as this last soldier is getting, picking himself back up, he lifts his gun. Mika just cuts the gun right in half with a quick horizontal strike, and as the two pieces go flying away and exploding against the other wall, she then brings the sword back around and stabs him through the side of the head, then spins around to face you all, drawing it back out and letting his corpse fall to the floor. Badass. I'm so proud of you. Everyone all right? Yeah, I'm good. Only took me a fresh wound. What about you? I'll live. 